Hello friends, welcome to Good Tech Critical Tutorial. Here we are going to solve longest palindromic substring coding problem. So given a string S, find the longest palindromic substring in S. You may assume that the maximum length of S is 1000. Example here, input string is BABAD, output string is BAB or ABA, because BAB or ABA, they are both palindromic, and both with the same length, with a length of 3. That's our longest palindromic substring for this input string. A lot of examples, CBBD input string, and the output is a BB. BB is the longest palindromic substring for this input string. So longest palindromic substring is a very classical coding problem about dynamic programming. So it tests uh, like a job candidate's uh, skill with dynamic programming. So here I'm going to demonstrate how to use a dynamic programming to solve this longest palindromic substring coding problem. So suppose we have some input stream like the here, ABBA good taker. And our goal for this uh, coding problem is to return to find out the longest palindromic substring. So for this example, ABBA good taker, that's uh, just ABBA, because ABBA is a palindromic substring. And if we add any other character, it will not be palindromic. So first, go back to the definition of a palindromic. So what is the definition of a palindromic string? So if we look at the example ABBA, it is palindromic because we if we read this word from left to right or from right to left, in both directions, we should read a same, same word, ABBA from left to right, ABBA from right to left. So in both directions, from left to right, in from right to left, we read the same uh, word. And the same thing happens here. If we have just one single character, they are also palindromic string. So A, B, C, they are also palindromic string. So if we try to conclude from our observation, the criteria for a palindromic string would be like this. So first, the first letter should be same as the last letter. Second, like A and A. First letter, last letter are the same. And the second, so inner word is also palindromic. So inner word is here, the word except the first and last letter. So inner word is also palindromic. Inner word. So these two criteria, these two criteria, that's in English. So we need to convert these two criteria. This is a criteria for palindromic string. So if any word sub, uh, substring meet these two criteria, they are palindromic string. So we need to convert this English criteria to a machine readable criteria. So here, we will use um, dynamic techniques. So first, we need to introduce a variable to help us. It's a Boolean, two-dimensional Boolean variable. Let's call, the, uh, is, let's call it as a is palindrome. So this is palindrome uh, variable will help us to indicate like from uh, any starting character to another character whether it is um, a palindrome string. So like here, suppose we have a uh, is palindrome um, i and j. It would indicate that from i's character to j's character, if that's a true that means from i's character to j's character, that string is a palindromic string. Otherwise, it's not a, a palindromic string. So let's 
So with this help, this uh, variable, we can um, move our process further to convert this English criteria to a machine understandable criteria. So first letter to last letter would be look like this. So start chart at the ice precision, input string chart character uh, ice precision uh, would be same as a J precision character. That's a first letter and last letter should be same. It would be look like this. Uh, and the uh, second inner word is also palindrome. Since we introduce this two-dimensional array, so we can indicate from any start uh, character to ending character whether it's a palindrome string, so that the inner word, uh, whether it's a palindrome, we could indicate like this is palindrome. So that is a I plus one uh, character. Start from I plus one character and end with a J minus one character. That's an inner word. So I plus one and a J minus one should be the true. So inner word is a palindrome would be indicated like this. It's palindrome I plus one, J minus one is a true. Or if that's a, just a single character, so like here, uh, index 0, 1, 2. So the difference between i index and the j's per, uh, index precision, that's a just a less or equal to uh, 2. So Or if that's a one single character, j minus i is less or equal to 2. That's one single character. It's also uh, um, criteria that can make the inner word uh, indicate that inner word is a palindrome. So with this uh, machine readable criteria, we can like look at the like input string. Like we could find that like um, for input string from any i position to another character j position, whether it's a uh, palindrome or not. So from the all we can iterate all the characters for the input string and find out the longest uh, uh, difference between i and j precision. If that is the longest uh, j minus uh, i, we can go get the substring from this uh, input string. That's um, i and uh, j because uh, if that's a Java, that's a j plus one, so that uh, ending is a uh, e e exclusive. That uh, so that indicates the uh, um, the longest palindrome make substring for the input string. Okay, with this uh, criteria, we can machine understandable criteria. We can use that to go back to the coding to solve this coding problem. So here, let's first introduce a nonce variable. Let's just store the input string nonce value and make some edge case check if this is a null input uh, string or if this nonce is less than two. That is one just a single character. So longest palindrome substring is itself to so just return itself. And uh, otherwise, as we just indicate, use dynamic programming technique, we will introduce two-dimensional Boolean array that's called is palindrome. So is palindrome and the lens just same as a um, string lens, and um, we will have a um, left and the right. Or integer variable. So that's indicate the longest palindrome substring, the start index and the ending index. And we will have a for loop here. So if um,
So the i at the left, j at the right. So i start from zero. When i is a less than j, i plus plus. And uh, so we need to uh, use this criteria. Use this criteria. So we should check whether this um, i and j position is the same value and the inner word is also uh, panegomic. So we first we get um, is inner panegomic. So this we can determine by the whether it is a one single character or if uh, this i plus 1 to j minus 1 uh, position is uh, true. So that is um, is panindrome i plus 1, j minus 1 is true. Or if there is just a one single character, uh, j minus i is less or equal to 2. So if if the current i character is the same as the current j character and is the inner word is the inner word let's call it is the inner word. Panindrome is a true that we know that this we can update this is panindrome i and j to true. So when we initialize with this two dimensional array, so by default, the like Java it will set the every element to false. So here we just need to set to true to over that false value. So it's so indicate this from i character to j character that substring is a um, true that's uh, also panegomic and um, if current j minus i is greater than the previous right minus left so we can update the longest uh, panegomic start and ending index so left would be the current i and right would be the current j and uh, at the end we can return this substring as we just said like uh, in some coding languages so like in java substring function so left side is a uh, in inclusive and right side is exclusive so right side we need to plus one to to get the that's right index character. Okay, before submit, we quick uh, check if there are some like a uh, typo things. So we first make some edge case check, and we introduce uh, is panel uh, two dimensional uh, array variable to indicate whether from i position to j character position is a panel string, and. Um, for this loop, and uh, if the we have a first check is the inner word is panegyrum by checking the i plus one to j minus one is a whether true, and whether is a just a single character. And if the i and the j character are same, and also is an inner word panegyrum, panegyrum uh, substring, and we can set the current i to j is to true. And if the j minus i is greater than the previous right to left, so we can update the left and right variable. And finally, substring left and right minus one. Okay. Accepting. So very beautiful. So we successfully solve this uh, longest pattern make substring coding problem. So you see this is a 
very classical dynamic programming uh, coding problem. So we need to pay attention to that and uh, doing more exercise and uh, uh, be more like a professional and uh, familiar with uh, dynamic programming. Also, uh, if you want to, um, let's also conclude the time capacity. So that's a O N square and both uh, space capacity is uh, also like a two-dimensional array that's also like um, based on the size of the input string that's a two-dimensional and for the time capacity we see this uh, you need to loop through the input string like two uh, times that's n square and also space capacity that's also based on the two dimensionally that's n square so both are time capacity and space capacity that's all n square okay that's all about this coding problem so uh, thank you for watching and uh, thank you for subscription to good tech analytical uh, uh, youtube channel so let's keep making progress uh, together and uh, see you next time